Hey guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be talking about my current Amazon Beauty favorites. Now I do have a part one and part two of this video. Do I have a part three? I'm not sure, but I love Amazon. I shop on Amazon all the time, so I'm always either finding products that I really, really hate on Amazon or products that I love. And today I thought I would talk about some more beauty products that I really love from Amazon. So let me know your Amazon beauty favorites in the comments down below. Let me know what you think I need to try from Amazon and let's go ahead and get into my current favorites. The first item I wanna talk about today is one that I already mentioned in, I think I just talked about it in my favorites video. So I thought I'd go ahead and get this one out of the way first. What this is, is just an eyelash tool. Hopefully you guys can see what the actual little brush or comb looks like. It really is just like a comb for your eyelashes. This works so much better than any other eyelash brush I've ever tried. I've never really stuck to using one before because they were just all okay to me. This one is so much better than any other one I've ever tried before. It's so affordable as well on Amazon. These right here always tend to kind of clump together and then it looks like I don't have as many lashes as I actually have. So I can just use this to brush through them and it brushes through like every single lash to really separate all of my lashes. So it looks like I have a lot more lashes this way and my lashes just end up looking so much better. Not as clumpy and not as, you know, sometimes they can look a little bit like I don't know, like this, <laughs> does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. But like, kind of like jaggedy, it helps to kind of like straighten them up and separate them at the same time, get rid of clumps. It's just such an amazing lash tool and I'm so happy that I recently discovered this and I don't know that I will ever be without it because it is the best lash tool I have ever tried. All right, next let's talk about some face masks. I love sheet masks. It's really hard for me, like every time I say masks, masks it's just I sound weird I don't know but um, I love a good sheet mask Amazon has these they look like this they come in like a bunch of different colors they all have you know different things that they say they do like you have the rose collagen essence mask the herb mask the bird's nest mask the cucumber mask there's a bunch of different ones you get a set of 15 for somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars I cannot remember the exact price I'll have everything linked down below for you guys but they're so so affordable and if you're someone like me that just uses mat uses them all the time, then this is a great way to get that hydration that you want, get the hydration that you feel like you need, but not spend a ton of money. I really just use these for hydrating the skin. I have very dry skin and I feel like these are kind of essential to making sure, especially you know when the weather is cold like it has been for the last few months. These are a way to make sure that my skin stays plump and hydrated and never gets that dehydrated feeling. These just really do help so much with that. So if you like that, if you like a hydrating mask, that is what I recommend these for. And again, you can get a set of so many for so cheap. Now I have another mask I wanna talk about today. This is the Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. This is the pore clearing solution. It's from Innisfree. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. It's just a little jar. But the reason that I like this is because, here, let me grab real quick. In the past, I have talked about the Indian Healing Clay Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this mask. It is one of the best masks on the market for really kind of bringing everything to the surface and getting rid of any gunk that is kind of like trapped in the pores. But this mask is so annoying to me because it is a powder. Hopefully you guys can see, do you see that? It's like a powder inside and you have to mix it with either apple cider vinegar or water and then the clay hardens in whatever you're mixing it in and I feel really weird you know, putting that down my drain because it is like a hard clay. I don't like to put the excess down my drain. So then I'm like scraping it all off and then I have to wash the stuff that I used it with. It's just such a hassle for me. So I was trying to find something that would give me the same result but not be as annoying to use <laughs> as this one. And that is what I get with the Innisfree mask and that is why I bought this one. It's already mixed for you. As you can see, let's see, can you see that on the inside? To me, this one does work just as well as my other one. I find that it clears the pores just as well as the other one does, but it's so much less annoying to use. I actually enjoy using this one. I think I would continue to repurchase this one and I don't think I'll ever repurchase the Indian Healing Clay as well as that one works. This one works the same for me. It clears out my pores. It really helps my skin to feel a lot more clear and fresh and clean without the annoyance of the other one. So I love this mask. 
lot of these items are skincare items, but that is what I have been loving, I guess, lately from Amazon. But next up we have the Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is a product that people have raved about also for a really, really long time. And for some reason, I just, I didn't think it would work. I was like, eh, micellar water, it doesn't sound like it's really gonna do what I needed to do with, you know, removing my makeup and all of that, so I'm not gonna try it. Finally gave it a try in about the last month or so, and I love it. The reason I decided to give this a try is because my skin had been breaking out really, really badly, and I was trying to kind of be a little bit more gentle with my skin. I was trying to be careful with the products that I was putting on it to hopefully help it to not break out as much. And I can say that since using this, and I'm not gonna say it was only this because I don't think it was only this, but I think this has really helped. Um, I have not been breaking out really at all. Like I don't get the big breakouts that I was getting. I haven't been washing my face in the morning anymore because again, I'm trying to be more gentle on my skin. So instead I'll just take a cotton pad or a cotton round and a little bit of my mar micellar cleansing water and just kind of rub it on my face. And I do feel like it's so much more gentle on my skin. My skin is not as dry because I'm not washing it in the morning. And by the way, I do use it to remove makeup at night too. I'll use this as my first step. I'll remove my makeup with this and then I'll use an actual cleanser, an actual face wash to wash my face. Um, and it just helps it to be like extra squeaky clean. <laughs> this one you can get pretty much anywhere, but Amazon does sell this. So I thought I would mention it in this video. Let's talk about something that you guys are probably so sick of hearing about by now because I talk about these non-stop over the last couple of months. But my Revlon Matte Lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. I have a ton of them, as you can see. But I'm gonna show you guys my two favorite shades like I have in every other video. You guys, you guys already know what these look like, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway. If you like a matte finish to your lipstick, but you still want it to be really, really creamy and smooth and comfortable to wear on the lips and not look dry or anything like that, then these are my favorite lipsticks for that, and I do sell them on Amazon. So this is my first favorite shade is the shade On Fire, which is a like red, orange, very stunning, stunning lip color. Very good for now that we're going into like spring and summer, so pretty. And I mean, did you guys see how smooth that was? So smooth and how pigmented it was. Now my other favorite shade and the one that you guys compliment me on anytime I wear it is the shade Untold Stories, which is just a matte lip. And it's my current favorite matte lip of the moment. So beautiful. That's what that one looks like there. It's just like a pinky, did I say matte? I meant nude. This is my favorite nude lip of the moment. It's just like a pinky nude. So just beautiful. I mean, I can't, what can I say about these other than creamy, smooth, comfortable to wear, not drying. I mean, it's everything I would want in a matte lipstick. Okay, hopefully you guys aren't sick of hearing about face masks in this video because I have another one that we're gonna talk about today. So what this is, is the Zombie Pack Pore Tightening and Lifting Face Mask. This I got because it was in a BuzzFeed article a few months ago where they talked about the zombie mask, the zombie mask, you need to try the zombie mask. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool, so I'll try it. It is like an egg mask, so it's one of those that really tightens the face and ends up looking like very like tight and wrinkly. Like you see how I'm like moving my mouth like I have it on right now. <laughs> you can barely move your face when you have this on because it is so stiff. It just shrinks the pore area, so my pores don't look as prominent for me, mostly in this area and up on my forehead. And obviously it's not going to completely firm my face, get rid of my wrinkles or anything like that, but it does help to diminish them. For me, I have, you know, pretty bad wrinkles up here on the forehead, as you can see. They're not, they don't look quite as bad right now, but I do have wrinkles there. I have them kind of around my face. They're very, very, or my lips, they're very fine, but I just feel like they're not as prominent, not as intense when I use this mask. Now, this is not like, oh, I'm gonna use this mask and my skin is going to be pore-free and wrinkle-free for the next six months of my life, month of my life, whatever. This is like, I use it, the day of a special event or you know if I'm gonna have photos taken or something like that and I'm just trying to look a little bit more firm a little bit more smooth in the face then that's what I use this for so anytime that or honestly if I'm just feeling like my face is looking a little rough and I feel like I need to look a little bit more tightened and smoothed I will use this for me it just kind of works for that day the next day maybe but it's not a long-term solution now maybe if I'm using it all the time it would give me more long-term results, but they're definitely, you know, just temporary results, but I love it. I honestly love it for that when I just need like a quick fix, if I just want to look a little bit more refreshed 
or if I have something special going on that I want to look a little bit nicer for, this just really helps my skin look its best. All right, and last up we have the Cora's Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. So I was trying to incorporate more vitamin C, but I didn't like a lot of the serums I was trying. And so I decided to give this a try. This is a, it's more of a cream. It's not really a serum. So what I'll do is I'll use this as kind of like my nighttime moisturizer. And on the inside, you can see it's just like a cream. It's not a serum, it's not super runny. So it's pretty thick. I can put this all over my skin and just sleep in it. It's called a sleeping facial. I sleep in it, wash it off the next day, and I feel like my skin is so much less dry. Again, it's very, very hydrating. It's got that vitamin C in it, which is going to help brighten the skin and brighten any dark spots or anything like that discoloration that I have on my skin, which is why I wanted vitamin C in the first place. <laughs> I'm trying to make my skin look as fresh as I possibly can when I wake up in the morning so that I'm ready for makeup. And I feel like, you know, a mixture of all of these different products has really helped me with that. So this one, again, you can get it a few different places, but I got mine on Amazon and I feel like it works really well. Clearly, the theme of today's video was masking because <laughs> I talked about one, two, three, four masks. Everything, yeah, I talked about a lot of masks today. But yeah, all really great masks and I feel like they've all been kind of working together to help my skin uh, the last couple of months. 